Hello, it's me, it's been a while. I've had a good question uh, about lotting. How do we manage lotting in the model? Uh, I've got an example here, a very straightforward model, um, and I've lotted it into five lots, and now I want to report on that lot. So we're going to have a look at Organizer, um, and in order to report on this, I'm going to need to include the lot number. So I've got a got a test report here, which I'll show you very quickly. If I pick the steel parts here, you'll see some very simple information, um, profile, material, um, length, weight, that kind of thing. I have actually added a, a, a column for the top of steel level, um, but I'm going to add add another one in there for lot as well. So there's a couple of things we can do inside Organizer for lot. And first, that, that's the simplest, is to add a lot column there. So if I go up to settings here, I can pull my report here, so test, and then I can add a new column in here by hitting the add button. And at the bottom, let's call this lot. All right, so, and then on the left here, if I search the available um, property set, I can find the appropriate one, and let's just use lot number as a basic example. I can drag that across into there, and now that's looking at, at lot. So if I now modify that template and close out of here, and you'll see I've now got a lot column there. So if I resynchronize and review and reset uh, that to test, we should now be pulling in uh, the lot number. And I can, you know, I can uh, uh, arrange that, change the direction, so that it's showing me lot one at the top. So then I've got a material list which shows me all my members across all the lots. All right. The other thing that I can do here is I can change the category as well. So if I go to add here, uh, actually that's not the right level. So let's get rid of that. And let's pick there. Let's pick one of these high level ones. Let's add a new category in here. Um, and if I go to properties in here, I need to do two things. I need to first set this as a standard filter. Like so, and then underneath here, um, I just want to go to select property. And I can write, start to write in here the, the parameter. It's very similar to the report. Um, I'm using the parameter to create a category instead. So let's use the same category. Let's call that lot number. Um, and one of the one of the better features about using organizer is that you can set a a, um, a standard template for, for producing the reports um, I'm going to use the test here but you've, you've got all of your standard templates here available so when you view that category it will always show it with that, that template um, so hit OK there and you can see now automatically like straight away I've, I've got well, what I should have done which I haven't done is change the name of that so if I change that to lot um, <clears throat> you can see it's, it's grouping the lots together so then I can cycle through and produce an individual report for all the material within that lot. All right. So if I right click here and say select a model, that will just show you. So lot one is red, lot two is, is, is green. Sorry, I've got to select it in the model. There we go. Lot three, lot four, and lot five. Uh, the other question I had um, was with the, the, the naming of the profiles. One of these reports, the name is too long, so it's this one here, Material Park Group by Profile. Um, if I say create from all there and show you there, we've got an asterisk. Um, that just simply means that the uh, that the name is, there's not enough room in, in the template, so the asterisks are showing that it's not able to fit. Um, so I'm just going to open my template editor and I'm going to need to find that report. Um, so it's material, parts, grouped by profile. So all I've got to do here is, well, I say all I've got to do, it's going to need a bit of rejigging um, because obviously I'm going to make some space. So really all I do is I hold control and I select these objects and I'll zoom in. And I'm only going to do it very quickly. I'm not going to worry about snapping too much. Just going to drag those over but the crucial thing that I've got to do is I've got to lengthen the value of this okay so let's put that up to 18 see how it fits it's a bit tight so what we can do is we can grab that and pull that across one and that should give us the space we need 
we'll need to do the same thing here. So let's change that to 17. Let's change that to 17. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, if, and this is an important point, if I was to hit save here, this would overwrite the system, the system template. So what I want to do is I want to do a file and save as. Um, and I want to pop that in my firm folder ideally. So let's go to uh, my firm folder in here. And we just want to save it with the same name, just that it overwrites, like so. Um, and then when we create that report again, we should be able to see the whole name. All right, so the asterisk is just a warning that it's not able to put the whole name in there. All right, thanks very much. Hopefully I'll have, uh, well, the next video that's going to be coming up is a port frame, a, a revisited port frame demonstration in advance of some power fab stuff. So join me for that and uh, see you next time.